So here in Visual Studio, you'll see that I already have it set up. I'm pretty much just binding to some data and I'm just setting some uh, properties on the column chooser setting objects off the grid. Here you'll see that I set the allow hide column icon to true and now allow hidden column indicator to true. I'll explain what these properties do once I run this application. Okay, uh, now that this comes up, you'll see that there's a couple of new icons that are uh, brought in for the Silverlight grid. You'll see these little collapsing icons in each of the column headers. And that's what one of the, I believe the first property, what that controls. And when you collapse these, you'll see these, this little, a uh, little bit of a highlighted area. This, when you click, will bring a drop down that shows which columns are currently hidden so that if you were to click again, it'll show those columns. Uh, in addition to that, you have this additional column chooser uh, choice in this drop down. And when you click on this, it's going to bring the column chooser dialog up. Here, you can not only control the visibility of each of the columns in your grid, uh, but you can also change the positioning. So it's a couple of features built into one. And again, it's very simple setup. You just have those two properties off the uh, settings object. And that's how you get the column chooser in your Xam web grid. Thanks for joining me today. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.